All right, so we're looking at a Humvee. And you can tell it's a Humvee. You can see these X doors. You can see how the location of these mirrors are on the uh, frame, on the window pillar. And uh, you can see the steering wheel is thinner. The interior is gutted. The battery placement is underneath the passenger front seat. It's kind of a bare interior. And then you look over here and you see almost the same thing, but it's kind of deceiving because this actually is a 2000 open top. And uh, they actually mounted the mirrors on the window pillars uh, and then gutted the interior to give it a Humvee style look. You can see the steering column. And uh, if you look down here, you can see the battery trays and that way you can tell it is actually a H1, which is a civilian vehicle. This one has uh, 38 inch tires on black Rhino wheels. I think those look like maybe, uh, what are they, 20s, 20 inch wheels. There's a two inch lift. They Rhino lined the paint and they added a spare tire carrier with an integrated roll bar. As you can see inside, the roll bar connects right here and it goes through here. Seems like it goes down these pillars and it hits the bottom somewhere. I don't know if it connects to the frame or not. Uh, you can tell it's also a civilian one because the VIN number is there. Kind of cool. Has a eye camper rooftop tent with custom mounts that they adapted to the roll bar and then to the spare tire carrier. There's a deep fording exhaust mounted and a uh, pretty clean job. I, uh, I like the personalization that they've done to it. There's uh, rock rails on it. And at first I thought it was a Humvee, a uh, military Humvee. And then I uh, looked a little, a little closer and it uh, threw me off, but it is a military Hummer H1. It's a civilian Hummer H1, not a military uh, Humvee. They actually use the military Humvee uh, soft top on here. All right, cool. back here is a really rare vehicle. This is a Hummer H1 Alpha, 2006 Alpha. And the uh, owner uh, put a rhino lining for the paint did some custom work. You can tell that it's it has an original slant back shelf from the factory. And now you can tell is the it has no tailgate. Super clean. This is in uh, various stages of repair right now. If you look inside here, it's a uh, it's a second generation. The headliner is pretty clean. And this was done, I believe by Phil's Body Shop next to AM General. But in different uh, stages of repair, I think it just got back from paint. But it is cool. You never, you hardly ever see a alpha with a factory shell in the back. You can see it's sealed up. There's usually a gap right there. That's where they're having a lot of leaks. Kind of cool. This guy actually has two of them. We're gonna actually go back to the back lot and look at the other one in a minute. Again, this was a wagon. It was a, was a 2006 Hummer H1 wagon and uh, Phil's auto body uh, did the conversion. The, I believe AM General had a few factory slime back shells left. Uh, Phil bought them all. He, uh, Phil unfortunately passed away and, uh, and these are no longer available. So this is his other 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha with the slant back conversion done to it. 
This one has a uh, higher mileage and uh, not as, as good, good condition. This guy had uh, Phil's Auto Body Shop near AM General do the other conversion here too. You can see this guy has light bar, LED lights, some military uh, lights in front, custom roof rack. He does some uh, carbon fiber trim pieces. Again, this is also a Gen 2, all black interior. You can tell the headliner has seen good, better days. The seats are in great condition. It has a nice full cal speakers. Tire carrier. Those are some uh, 40 inch tires on 17 inch rims. Again, he put uh, military spec brake lights. Very nice looking truck started its life as a wagon. Here's a super clean Humvee military with uh, soft doors. These are insulated. I haven't seen these doors before. Very unique. Cold weather doors. Truck has a deep forwarding exhaust kit. Let's see if it has the. Oh, it does have the deep forwarding switch there. It pressurizes the uh, differentials and the, I believe the differentials. There's some hoses that go to it that pump some air in it. And that way you can go completely underwater, or until the top of that uh, snorkel right there. I've never seen this before, but uh, there's an issue with the spindles the spindle lock washer coming apart and the wheel falling off. And uh, I believe a couple uh, service people got killed a few years back, but I believe they, it's a requirement to check your spindle lock washers. So it's pretty So this thing is really bitching looking. This is gigantic. This is a military Humvee with a cab on it and giant tires. Oh, look at these tires. Things are on a 17 inch wheel by Black Rhino. It's just a 40 by 13 and a half, but it just looks massive. This Maxxis tire is just huge. This truck looks pretty clean. has custom seats, rear AC, looks like it has some type of communication device. Super clean, I like this truck. The tires look brand new, look like they have a super aggressive tread. Super tall snorkel, the antennas.
there's a clean 2004 black wagon. And how you can tell it's a 2004. These are the 2004 wheels. But the giveaway is the interior, has the uh, alpha interior. The shifter is how you can tell. That shifter is different than an alpha. So you can see how this uh, is all bugged out. It puts a lot of stress on these components and this like will cause a spindle nut to back out or fail. So you make sure you need to put the locking spindle nuts on there, the locking spindle washers on, the, on this thing. That's the first thing I would do um, because it changes the geometry of the suspension and the way that it was engineered. And everybody I know that's had wheels and tires that bugged out this much have had the tire fall off or the wheel, the complete wheel, the spindle fall off. So that's what I'd recommend is a locking spindle washer, a custom one from Blue Hummer. Here's a super rare, super clean ocean blue open top. This is super clean. The tonneau cover looks brand new. There is no oxidation. Paint is immaculate. This is a 2001. Interior looks perfect. This car looks immaculate. The paint. Ocean Blues is a very rare color. Super nice H1, 2001, super clean. And you look at the truck next to it, you can see the truck used to have a wrap on it. And uh, when they pulled the wrap off, the paint started coming off. You can see some of this uh, money looking wrap as they were peeling it off, which is probably a pain in the ass. It starts to take off some of the uh, paint. So it used to be wrapped in that money up there all around. And you can see they started peeling this. And I'd highly recommend not wrapping your vehicles just because of this problem. And now that the uh, this is all rough from the residue from the sticker that was on it, the wrap, cool looking truck it has a bunch of storage compartments on top here's a couple more trucks you can see the custom color here almost like a battleship gray and this thing is massive whatever this thing is it's huge what size tires are these these maxis it's a 42, 14 and a half, 17 inch tire on a black Rhino wheel. It is has a really big stance. It has a white Rhino paint on it, Rhino liner, custom seats. You can tell it's a Humvee, not an H1, because the battery compartment here tray is missing. It's located under here. And the uh, mirrors are over here, mounted on this pillar here, compared to the H1, civilian ones are mounted to the door. Here's another uh, H1 uh, with a military, with a shell on the back. I'm not sure if this is a military or not, or civilian but you can see that this is an aftermarket shell because it does have a tailgate and yeah these doors are not the factory doors and it has these mirrors that are mounted onto the doors looking inside it looks like this is a military humvee with a aftermarket uh shell and door 
Um, this is a aftermarket bumper. Uh, and you can tell there's a cover here, two inch lift. Custom shell. And these windows here with the slider is not factory. All right, here's a 95 in a, looks like factory, like purple looking. It's a really rare color. You can see uh, the shell, I believe it's called a prestige a slant back shell. And it's an aftermarket. You can see the tailgate there. And it's a four door hard top with the shell because it has the divider here in the window. Various stages of repair. Looks like uh, maybe a fire. And again, here's the factory slant back shell. This is one of those unicorns. This is a 2006 Alpha H1 Gen 2, it has 2,000 miles. I actually used to own this vehicle, I sold it a couple times. This is uh, super clean, it's a little bit dusty, but you can look inside here. It's like museum. It's, it's so clean. Bunch of extra parts back there. The headliner is perfect. Wow. Super nice truck. My favorite one here. A bit dirty. Original tires. Here's a California Gold slant back shell. Uh, been sitting here for a while but that's what it looks like all right you want to see a collection of demons these are all brand new demons in a secret spot demons All on battery tenders. They have these little things for the uh, yeah. tires to go on. A little bit more uh, second row of demons.